Hi, this is Chris from Essential SQL. Today we're going to go out and get our sample database. But before we get started, I want to make sure that you have SQLite 3 installed on your computer. If you don't, check out our first video to learn how. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to go out and get the sample database that I created that we'll use to learn the SQL statements. We'll start working with that sample, and by the end of this lesson, we'll have written our first query. All right, let's go out and grab that sample database. The file is located at www.essentialsql.com slash downloads slash essentialsql.zip. I'll try my best to put a link in the comments so that you can just grab it from there. Again, here's the, the web address. But once you've entered the web address and hit hit enter, it'll automatically download the file to your, your computer. In my case, it goes to my downloads directory, as you can see here, and there's the zip file. And when I open it up, there's three little pieces that we, we're going to be interested in. The first is the .sqlwhiterc. This is our options file. It contains options that allow us to see the data in uh, like a tabular format. There's the essential sql.db, which is the actual sample database. And then there's rundb.bat, and that's the file we can use to automatically start up um, SQLite and have it open up our, our database. So the next step really is to take these files and, and put them in their rightful home. So the .sqlwhiterc just goes in your user profile, and on my computer that would be under users and then my ID which is Chris and so all I need to do is just drag this file in there and I'm good now the other two files go into the same directory that you or folder that you uh, installed SQLite so it's in my case it was um, C colon and then SQLite so I'm gonna grab the database and pull it in I'm also going to copy over the rundb.bat file. So if you're curious to know what this rundb.bat file does, I'm just going to edit for you and show you the commands. As you can see here, all it's going to do is run SQLite 3, and then it specifies essential um, SQL.db as the database to use. So let's give it a go. I'm going to double click on rundb.bat. You can see it opened up the SQLite command window. And now I'm going to do a search on the sample database for one of the tables that I know is there. It's uh, called shippers. I'm going to do select star from shippers. And it was a semicolon. All SQL statements are in, end in a, sem in a semicolon. And hit enter and you can see it pulled back a table of all the shippers in our database so that's it for now uh, really the whole idea was just to get you the sample database make sure it works and in our next segment I'm going to uh, talk a little more about what's actually in the sample database so you get a little more familiar with with the types of tables and then we'll dig right into learning how to query that data hope you all have a good day thanks bye